Hey guys, uh, so it's been a long time since I've actually made the time to make some update videos. So I'm a little caught up on some things around the house. I had the extra time to uh, make this video for you. Uh, my time is very limited due to all the animals I have and my children. Uh, most of the time I'm cleaning up after one of them two things. Plus I work full time. so. I wish I had more time to make videos and had more time to play with everybody, but you know what, everybody has to be taken care of. So this is the female Het Albino Red Tail Boa. Um, I purchased her along with an enclosure. Um, when I got her she was really, really sick. This was about three months ago. She's basically a rescue that I paid for. <laughs> um, so I took her to the vet, I got the antibiotics, I cleaned her mouth. What happened was that she got a severe lesion inside where it actually ripped out a lot of her top teeth. Um, so the previous owner didn't take care of it and the bacteria got in there and started a really severe case of mouth rot. Uh, I made some videos throughout that process. Uh, I don't know what's up but I can't get them posted. Um, so today I'm trying to use this video camera. Uh, I wish I would have been able to video and post all of the segments of getting her healthy again because it was just amazing. She was on death's doorstep when she got here. But yeah, she is an amazing, amazing snake. Uh, she, her tank's still in quarantine. Um, I'm very confident in bringing her in here with my animals now because she's urinated, she's defecated, she started eating again, her mouth is completely healed up, she's growing new teeth, um, there's no uh, visual signs, I mean, she's doing very, very well. Okay, sweetie, let's see if we can get her stretched out. Must be those good rats she's been eating lately. She's really got her strength. So here she is. Doing very well. Yeah, I wonder if she'll just chill somewhere. Stay there. No, I said stay there. Next on my list is my albino female. This one was also, I had to fix her up when I got her. She's the one that had that really bad uh, nose rub. She's really healed up. She's eating good. She's getting bigger. Uh, my Maclot Python down here, she's in shed, so I'm not going to dig her out. But she's doing very well too. I think the last video that I posted, she was actually in quarantine in my ensuite bathroom. But here she is, she's in the snake room now. You can see a piece section over there, but like I said, she's in shed. Okay. This is that female carpet python. And she's doing very nice, very well. She's looking good. Okay. 
Okay, this is my male cow coral albino boy. The lighting's not the best in here. You guys know that my reptile room has always been kind of on the dim side. that female blood python she's packing on the pounds eating very well I'm not going to take her out because she's in her water dish her favorite place in the world here's my male um, pastel hat clown he's been off feed so he looks really skinny he's been breeding with my female hat clown Here's my female pastel girl. All these snakes are stars from my previous videos. Uh, they're really healthy. They're getting pretty big. Should have lots of cool stuff on the go next year. Again, I'm not breeding for anything but the pleasure of keeping these animals. I take pride in the way I keep them nice and clean and healthy. This is just a head albino female. Hopefully go with my albino male next year. And here's a new addition. He is a hypo boa. He's, he's really nice looking. All the pinks and very little black pigmentation throughout his body. One of the key ingredients for your sun glows. I have a female coming down. She is a jungle hypo het albino. This is just temporary for him. He actually escaped out of a tub. So I'm waiting to get one of these four foot enclosures all set up for him. I have it, I just haven't got it set up. Here's my little female uh, spider het orange ghost. Pretty cute little girl. Here is Athena, that rescue girl from two years ago now. Oops. She went off feed, so she's looking really small too, but it won't take her long to pack it back on once she gets back onto food. But the whites in her are really nice and clean looking. Not really a big fan of the spider, but it's one of the key ingredients in a few things that look pretty sweet. Here's my female Mojave. She's been off feed, so she's not getting very big, but she's not losing very much either. So hopefully she gets back to food again soon. Here's my lesser male, packing on the pounds. This is going to be a super long video, my collection's pretty big. And here's a little lesser female girl. I got her in a package deal, kinda. So, she's growing up nice. Here's 
is that albino male I was talking about. He's been eating good. Getting pretty big. So this video is probably going to be too long with the snakes, so I'll probably have to do a tarantula and spider one at a later date. Now this is my bumblebee female. I paired her up with my lesser, and if you notice, she looks pretty fat. But uh, she hasn't eaten, so hopefully that's an ovulation. That'd be really cool. Here's that head genetic stripe that I've had forever now. She's doing really nice. She looks real nice. I hope I get some genetics out of her next year. Here's my pinstripe male. He's doing really well. He's eating like a champ. And, you know. I, he had a really rough start uh, when I got him from the expo. He was having a hard time eating. But he was so small when I got him. Hey, this is my butter male. He's been breeding, so he's been off feed too, so he doesn't look as chunky as he should. But he's still, still doing good. And this is my female pet clown girl. She's getting pretty big. She doesn't go this year. She's going to go next year for sure. So I put them together and the previous owner put them together. So we'll see. Might have a little surprise clutch. Which should be awesome because Clown's one of my favorite jeans. Here's just a male pastel. It's actually that other pastel's sister. I kind of got a deal on them a while back, too. This is my other normal uh, red tail boa. N not too sure about what she actually is, but she might, I think she's just a normal. She's in shed, so she doesn't look very good either. And down here is that other het. Genetic stripe, uh, the male. I don't know, they just look so clean and crisp, those guys. This is a head albino female. Now, she's really skinny. She's been off food. Um, the only thing she's been taking is live mice. So, hopefully she gets onto something better here soon. If not for now, I guess it's just live mice. Here's Coco, that big normal female. Oops. Oops. She's really nice too. female. She's been on feed too. I guess it's that time of the year, right? So she's not breeding or anything. She's just been off feed. She's not losing weight and she's not gaining weight. So she's doing good still. Hopefully they start picking up here soon so I can fatten them up for next year. This is my male 100% head pied. I videoed him before and his if you remember his tail markings, almost he's got a lack of pigment in there, so feeling pretty confident about those again. Hopefully, I'll get some pies. Here's my female pastel hat orange ghost. She's been on feed too, but they're all doing pretty good, very healthy. the hatchling rack. Hey, sweetheart. Okay, 
Okay, here's a pewter hatching that I picked up here. She's really cool. It's pastel cinnamon. Oops. <laughs> Here's my Anchi mail. Uh, pickup this year from Henry Perone. Came as a trio deal. He also came with this pastel female. I don't know, I just love pastel. I've always loved pastel. They're so nice. Um, those two also came with this super pastel. Man, is she ever clean and bright. Cute. And in here I picked up a cinnamon. I'm loving the cinnamon to be honest. I'm really loving it. So dark and so rich. Definitely up my top favorites. Okay, and this is a super low white sugar fire what I've been told anyway so we'll see uh, what happens with him yeah. we'll see Here's my orange ghost male, the one that I was really having problems with. He's been eating on his own, striking, constricting, swallowing, all on his own. So he's on his road to recovery, doing very well. Uh, I have him in my hatchling rack here just temporarily because I put that boa in his enclosure over there because he escaped and I didn't want to put him back into the enclosure that he escaped from. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much my collection of constrictors right now. Um, I do have a couple corn snakes, but I'm just leaving those guys be. Uh, I'll make some update videos real soon. Hopefully I can get a video of my spiders. I'm thinking that I'll probably wait and do a good evening night, night video, probably at about 3 o'clock. That's when they seem to be out and searching for food. Alrighty guys, I'm going to go put her away. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, I like to have a little motivation for making these videos. It might help. Uh, thanks for watching.